Good morning, everybody. It's Burton Luke and the Realtor here. I thought I'd come to y'all before I ran off to church. I've uh, been doing some reading this morning and we talking with the people you know, in the community. Some people have some fears in the economy and there's always going to be people you know, that are worried for sure and that's a, that's a good thing. You, know, you, you always got to look out for things. So uh, be on the guard, right? So anyways, some people are worried about home sales, prices going down. They think there's going to be a huge dip in prices and stuff like that. So I've been doing some reading this morning. On December 30th, 2020, there was a report put out by the National Association of Realtors, NAR. And um, the home sales this month in November, well, last month in November, were down 2.6%, which is the third month of decline. But year over year is up 16.4%. So that's pretty good. That signals that a lot of people are still buying, all that. They also signaled that the largest indicator of the decline is the inventory. Been telling y'all, made several videos. We have no inventory in Albany, Lee County, and apparently that is an issue all across the country. Another interesting issue is that um, the South George, so they separate this into four quadrants. You got the Northeast, the Midwest, the West, and the South. The South decline was only down 1.1%. So the South had the lowest amount of decline. The Midwest was at 3.1%. The Northeast was down 3.3%. I told y'all people are leaving these big cities. And the West was down 4.7%. Once again, I told y'all, people are leaving these big cities, so it looks like the Midwest and the South are the uh, slowest growers, obviously with the South being down 1.1% year, uh, month over month. So that is uh, pretty incredible. That's good news for the South. That's good news for our area. Like I said, I'm very positive for Outlook. One thing that people are not talking about in some of these other videos though, okay, I'm taking a foreclosure course right now. It is saying that 16% of all homes, FHA, VA, and USDA are in default. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean a wave of foreclosure are coming our way? Possibly. But what I suspect is also included in the default list that the foreclosure class was talking about, okay, is the people who took the, um, the time period where they didn't have to pay anything during the um, coronavirus, okay? So, you know, some people took the deference, they're deferring their payments. Now, all those payments are due, they are gonna be due so at some point. You know, um, what does that mean? That are those people gonna be able to make those payments up? I don't know. 16%, this course said is the uh, highest in 40 years in defaults. But one thing I know is people are really hungry right now. People are always buying houses. We have a huge number of buyers right now. I see it every day in my business. And one thing I've learned, people love the word foreclosure, okay? The word foreclosure means that, or, or they think they're gonna get a really good deal, okay? Sometimes they do. Sometimes, I don't know, maybe they don't. But, um, you know, people love the word foreclosure. If it says foreclosure, they think it's a steal. So, Wave of foreclosures coming. Could it be a possibility? Possibly. Do I think it is? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. We'll just have to see what happens in the next few months. But I know that we have a lot of buyers going on. It, they also projected the uh, NAR, Yun, predicts a favorable, out, favorable outlook for the housing market in the coming year of 2021. He projects a slight upward rise in mortgage rates to around three points. 3% from 2.7%. And the existing home sales are expected to uh, increase 10%. Existing home sales are older homes and they are projecting newer homes to increase 20%. One thing that they're not talking about though, the materials, I deal with several builders, developers and such, and uh, materials are very high right now. That is one of the leading factors of increase in home prices. Materials are so high right now, okay? Wood, lumber, you know, all your concrete, your labor, finding the labor, um, it's just hard right now. So those prices are very high right now. So I predict 
that existing home sales, the older homes that are updated, in my opinion, I think that if you're out updating homes right now, I think the updated homes are also gonna go up, maybe above the 10%, I don't know, but I hope they do. That is what I look for. I love, I, I'm an investor obviously, uh, large of the people I deal with, repeat business. I would probably say at least 80% of my business is repeat business. Different investors, developers, builders of new homes, and uh, investors for sure. So people buy investment properties, rental properties, homes to flip and build homes. And uh, I help them a lot. I think that I really connect very well with them because I'm an investor myself. So I know what they're looking for because I know what I'm looking for. And so I can use what I'm looking for to help them find what they're looking for. So if you're looking to buy, sell, or invest, definitely give me a call. Also, if you found this video to be good, um, you can hit the subscribe button. Always definitely comment below. Let me know what you want to talk about. I look forward to helping you. And uh, pretty soon, I'm going to learn how to uh, put this material that I'm reading on the videos. I don't know how to do that right now, but I'm learning. So pretty soon, I will be putting these um, this in. But it's all on the NAR. You can go to nar.realtor slash newsroom slash pending home dash sales dash slide dash two dash six dash in dash November. And uh, that'll give you some of the information I've been reading about. Thank you. Have a great day. Click the subscribe button.